Hello friends, this video on water, a precious resource part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us get back to our topic of discussion which was water scarcity. So we were talking about water scarcity. Now look at this picture. You can actually see that there is so much lack of water that people are actually taking water from, you see, if, if you dig deep inside the ground, under the ground, you'll be able to find some water because as I said, Groundwater is present, right? So you just look at this lady that th th there is no water supply present around her that that she is just digging and she is taking up this muddy water for her use because there is no other choice. So water scarcity is this severe in a lot of places. So water uh, scarcity can be defined as insufficient water resources to meet the water demand. That means the amount of water which is available that is not enough to meet the demand for water. Now this could be either because uh, there is lack of water resources, there is lack of water sources basically or this could also be because the water demand is too high. So when the demand becomes too high then also you will have scarcity of water. So let us look at the causes of water scarcity in more detail. So one important cause is overpopulation. So if you look at the population of human beings, forget about the other animals because it is not only human beings who need water, all other organisms starting from plants, animals, insects, everybody needs water. But for instance, if you consider human beings, they play a major role or human beings to a large extent are responsible for water scarcity. You look at the population of human beings, it is increasing I mean, it is increasing very fast. So there is no control on the population. Now, when the number of people are increasing so fast, their demands are also increasing. Now, let's say uh, there four people are living in a house. So the need of water for those four people would not be similar to the need of 12 people who would be living in that house. Right? So when, as the number of people increases, the demand of water also increases because Everybody needs water to drink, they need water for their food, they need water to wash their clothes. So for a variety of purposes, all of them need water. So as the population keeps increasing, the water demand increases. Now, with overpopulation, the demand of water becomes so high that whatever water sources are available, they become less to meet that demand. The second cause is rainfall only during few months in a year. So Rainfall is one very important and basic source of water. So we get a lot of water through rainfall. Now if rainfall doesn't happen very frequently, that can also result in water scarcity. So in this case, the problem is with the source of water. Right. So if, if let's say that if it doesn't rain at a particular place for one complete year, so it never rained in the entire year. So obviously there will be water scarcity because during that year there was no water which came from rainfall. So lack of rainfall is another cause of water scarcity. Deforestation. Again, here human beings play a very important role. Deforestation. What is the meaning of deforestation? Deforestation is cutting down trees for human benefit. So that is called deforestation. In fact, when I say cutting down trees, it is not about cutting down one or two trees. It is like cutting down the entire forests for either uh, establishment of um, factories or industries or some co commercial residential, uh, residential plots. So for human benefit, when you cut down a huge stretch of forest land, that is called deforestation. Now what happens when you cut down trees? Now if you look at the trees, their roots, they you know, they kind of bind the soil very strongly. Now when that happens, it also makes the soil more porous which allows more and more water to be stored under the, within the soil. Now when you cut down trees and you set up a factory there, what happens? Now it is easier for water to pass or to penetrate or to seep through the soil. But instead of soil, if you have established a factory where you have a cemented floor. So and just try this out yourself. Take a mug of water, put it on the soil in your garden. And what do you see? The water gets absorbed by the soil. So basically the water passes below the soil. It goes deep into the soil. Now you take 
a mug of water and put it on your marble floor inside your house or maybe a cemented floor. What do you see? The water remains there because the water doesn't seep through the cemented floor. So the same thing happens here. When you cut down huge stretch of forests or trees, so basically you are doing it for some of your own benefit. So you will either establish factories or industries or residences and in each of these the water will not seep through the cemented floor. Therefore, deforestation will result in less groundwater because when you have forest in the forest areas the groundwater is also more because a lot of water gets deep into the soil and they get stored as groundwater. So deforestation can also result in water scarcity. Diversion for high water demanding crops. Now human beings these days just for their own benefit they want to grow one particular type of crop. It could be any crop. Now, different crops have different needs for their growth and production. Now, some there are certain crops which need less water. There are certain crops which need more water. So, just look at the paddy field. So, the paddy field where we grow the rice plants. So, they need a lot of water. So, you have to provide good amount of water. So, it is always advisable to, to grow the water demanding crops only in season uh, when you have a lot of rains, when you have sufficient amount of water. But a lot of times it has been seen that human beings, they want to grow up a particular type of crop. They don't worry about uh, whether it will be economically advantageous to utilize that much of water or not. So they just grow that crop. So as a result, what happens is a lot of high demand, high water demanding crops are grown, which again results in water scarcity. Pollution from industrial and urban wastes, a lot of industrial wastes and urban wastes, they contain a lot of harmful substances and all these substances pollute a lot of water bodies. Now, it has been observed that a lot of industrial and factory wastes are directly disposed into the water bodies. Whatever nearby water bodies present, maybe a pond or a river, so they every all the wastes are just dumped into them. So what happens? The entire water body gets polluted. So that water is no more useful to us. So we cannot use that water anymore. So these kind of pollution can also result in water scarcity. So these are some of the major causes which have resulted in water scarcity. And what did we observe looking at these causes? That if we start doing our bit, we will be able to control water scarcity. Because see, as far as the water sources are concerned, we can't do much about it because they are all natural ways by which we receive water. But as far as using water is concerned, we can do our bit. We can try to utilize water in the best possible way. We can stop wastage of water. We, we should try to control the population. We should also avoid deforestation and should try to plant more and more trees. So we can do a lot of things in order to control water scarcity. So we will look at them a little later. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.